Let's take a look at the full highlights from this game between the Avalanche and the Oilers. And believe it or not, it was the Avalanche. No, sorry, that was wrong. Perry strikes first. I forgot we did have a lead, but it was not yet. Corey Perry deflection in front to kick things off. Well, this is just a lot of traffic in front of that. As you can see, there's four bodies in front of Georgiev. Perry tips this, bounces off the ice. Just a lucky break for, for Corey Perry for the first goal of the game. Yeah, and definitely nothing you can really do on that one. Obviously, just that deflection, weird bounce. But then the Avalanche, they equalize things. It's Drew N with his 18th of the season. Well, this is you're getting the Avs got the Oilers caught in the line change with some quick, long passes. And uh, Jonathan Duran buys some time with his pull up and gets open in the slot. And again, Duran's been playing well and he continues to play well. Now the Avalanche would take the lead, and it's Ross Colton after a nice feed over from Lekin and finds some open ice, gets into that soft area, and finds the back of the net. Well, this is the Avs at their best. They're attacking with speed, and Ross Colton here just blows by Ek Ekholm there and just ends up gaining the middle of the ice. And when you're middle of the ice, you got to shoot the puck. And the goalie bit early, and he had a wide open net to score that one. The Avalanche continuing to trade back and forth this time. Edmonton gets an opportunity with under three left in the first period. McDavid with a little wraparound and a fortunate bounce. Well, you see this puck comes hard behind the net. McDavid with his hands ends up stopping it so easily, so smoothly. And he comes around and uh, Devon Taves helps him out a little bit. But Skate there, yeah. That's McDavid's skill will get you goals from anywhere on the ice. So the second period starts off with an unfortunate hit on Miko Rantanen. Now, he would not return to the game after this. We were told officially that it was upper body. So we'll wait to see if we get any update on him from coach. But, I mean, it just seemed like maybe he wasn't ready for it yet. Well, you, you saw him check the middle of the ice, and I think he, he just missed he missed that defenseman in his blind spot. But like Mosier said, the good thing is he turns around and starts yapping and whoever he starts yapping. Right. So to me, I think just uh, they just held him out just because of the way the game was, was going. There was not much going on for the abs. Yeah, so then on the third goal of the game, it's Ekholm, and the Avalanche would challenge this for goalie interference because he does get that contact on the pad, but not in the crease, not enough. Again, just a bit of a leaky goal. You'd really want to see him have a little more, you know, control over. He hits Miko, he hits our goalie. The lock Puck went on. trickles through between the legs after Georgiev's legs open up, slides in. Just an ugly goal, especially from a guy that just hit one of our best players. Well, speaking of goals you really want to have back, this one in particular for me was the backbreaker in the game. He's reaching for a puck that looks like it's going wide, gets it off the glove, and then Kane finds it back. Well, the you're right about that backbreaker. 3-2, going about to go into the third period. They score with a second and a half left. Yeah. Kind of a, I'm not going to say an easy shot, but should be an easy glove save, and he just mishandles it, falls, and right Kane crashing to the net, goes off the end of the net. And things did not get better in the third period. Connor McDavid with his second of the game made it 5-2. Well, just some turnovers and Casey Middlestead gets caught chasing a little bit, mm -hmm. gets to the wrong guy. And when Connor McDavid's alone in front of the net, you can give him a lot of time or just a little bit of time, he'll find a way to kill you. And it was, again, one of those broken plays, the way the puck came out of the corner there, just a little miscommunication. And finally, uh, the final one of the night, 6-2, Evander Kane with his second, and this one again just, I mean, if you're a goaltender, you just simply can't have that going in. I know it's, the game is out of reach at that point, but that's leaky. It, it's, it's out of reach. It, this is kind of, it hurts the confidence a little bit, and it kind of shows how the night went. And again, it's just a weak, weak angle shot, goes off the heel of a stick, and trickles five hole again, just goals that he should have had again tonight.